I'm going to use mostly green but a mixture of black and green to start putting some of the texture that leaves and all would make in this um, in this drawing. I'm going to have quite a bit of dark coming around from the bottom and then bringing it up. Now, as you start to build the leaves and the shape, remember that we do need to see through this to the background. <clears throat> when your mom gets a bouquet and she is excited, displays it on the table, if you look at that bouquet, you can see the wall behind it at certain places. Make sure you can see the wall behind or whatever else is behind or it's going to look fakey. In this picture, we need to make sure that we see enough blue and this golden through here behind so it doesn't look wrong, okay? So you're just going to start making marks with this black and the green. Up here beyond the flowers, you can even actually put a few shapes that are leaves. But you don't have to worry about that too much. They're going to an end up looking like leaves just because of the color that we're using. But you can see where I've left a little bit of blue showing. That's going to be really important. Now, we all know that around these flowers there's going to be petals. But the reason I'm doing this first and putting my leaves on now is because these things go behind the petals, right? So instead of painting around the petals, that's much harder to paint around all these perfect petals. We're putting the leaves in now so we can put the petals over top of these. You're going to have some of them come down and you're going to have some petals showing in this area as well. And what I would do is stand back every once in a while. You know, we're really close to the canvas and it's really difficult to see how does it actually look. Go stand back across the room and study it and say, do I really like that design? If you don't, change it now. Go ahead and add whatever you need to add so that it's going to look complete. At the very end, we can go back and put some more petals in as well. But we're going to try to get the majority of them, at least get an idea of the background. So we've got that done. At this point, I would go ahead and let, you know, maybe just put a few that dropped on the table, just a few little ideas, maybe right in there. That will show that it's a real plant. What we're going to do now is work on the vase. As I look at this vase and think about the light coming from this direction, we want this to be light and this to be dark. I could have actually painted the vase first, but it's an either or type thing. We can do either or first. I'm going to go ahead and make this part dark. So I'm going to take that dark blue and I'm going to put it right here on the vase. Now, if you have your brush a little bit wet, so that the blue isn't quite so dark, it'll be a little natural. You can bring it even darker at this edge if you want to. You know, if you want to, you can even dab into the black, just a little bit black and blue, and put a little bit darker right there. Now, if I go over top of the leaves, no problem, because I'm going to be coming back at the very end to fix up some of my leaves because we don't know exactly where we want all of them yet. But this is a good start like that. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to even make that shadow a little darker right there so we lose that edge so I don't see every edge on the painting. I think that that makes the painting a little more interesting if we every once in a while lose the idea of an edge. Now in here I'm going to add some white to it. I'm going to just bring a little bit of white put a little bit of lighter value in here just because we need some glistens actually. And what I'm going to do is clean my brush and we're going to put a lot of white on the one edge. I'm using a big pail for my water. You need a lot of water, a lot of clean water throughout this. But go ahead with white and just put a good highlight right there at the side of that face. And then let's put one right through there as well. 
And if we want now to get a little darker, kind of play with it, but we want the darkest part definitely to be over here. And then add a little bit of white to that so it's a middle value blue. So what we're doing is going from dark to kind of a middle, medium blue. First of all, to make the glisten show up more, I want you to take very thick paint on your brush and just kind of dab it on there, right along that line a little bit. You want this to be thick and stick out because now that's going to really look like a bright spot where the light hit that. And then what I'm going to do is take pure black and put just pure black right in here. Like that. This is a good place to stop for this session. I want you to go back with this painting and do the leaves. Remember, you're adding green and black together just off and on. Just Actually, you have both of those colors on your brush. And every once in a while, you say, oh my goodness, I have too much black. Well, then go grab a little bit of green. Or you say, I have too much green. Go grab a little bit of black. But get them in there. Remember to let us see through the plant so we can see through to the back wall. The other thing you're going to do after you basically spread those around in a way that looks pleasing to your eye, you are then going to go and work on the vase. You are going to remember that the light comes from this way, so this is the lightest part of the vase, and this is the shadow part. You're going to put that shadow dark, and then at the very end, get that black, black part to really make that dark. And then you're going to put this highlight in, and that highlight is done differently. You're going to take your brush and just thick paint right on that spot and that's going to really glisten it's going to catch the light any light in the room that's turned on will hit that spot and you're going to see that glisten so have fun doing this section work slowly be careful and then we're going to be ready to work some more on the flowers For this session, we're going to use a lot of white and yellow. So get those on your palette, and I would use your largest brush that you've used so far for the petals. What we're going to do is we look at the flowers and the lights coming from this way. The lightest petals are going to be on this side of most of those flowers. So we're going to just take some white. We've got to add it to that yellow because otherwise the yellow is transparent and it will, we will see everything through it. We'll see the blue and the green and the black and all that. So add plenty of white to your yellow and then put quite a bit of paint on your brush and then start bringing them in to that black mark. Just like that. Now don't worry if you cover some up, that's going to be okay too. And maybe just do half of the flowers for right now. That might be the easiest thing to do. Just kind of go ahead. And you can see how I'm using enough paint that is covering some of my leaves, is covering some of my background as well. Kind of fun, isn't it? As you watch me, I hope you're getting excited. Just can't wait to get your hands in the paint and get the paintbrush going. Um, now you can see that I have some flowers overlapping other flowers. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. So that every flower isn't exactly the same. And this flower is going to overlap also. And that's perfect. Get some petals going there. And then here, maybe I want to make this, I don't know, you can make it a little smaller, big, however you want to do that. Let's go ahead and put a few yellow petals 
on the table as well. Now, for the other side of the flower, I'm going to go ahead and add some of this yellow ochre to my yellow and white to get a little bit of a darker mixture. So really what we're doing is yellow, yellow ochre, and white. And we're going to start putting some of those in and finishing these flowers. In, actually, inside this flower, there's a little bit of shadow, so you can even put a little bit of this color in there if you want to as well. 